very quickly we're told the mud was feet high next to their home. We certainly will be following up on this story tomorrow in daylight to show you uh, just some close calls over here. No injuries at this point. We're told crews are going to stay here overnight to monitor uh, if anything else does happen. For now, live in Elkridge, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. Nick, thank you. Now to Little Cottonwood Canyon, water, mud, and debris all over the road, closing the canyon down. ABC4 is Rosie Nguyen, live from the mouth of the canyon. Rosie, what's the latest tonight? Well, glad we know the entrance road to Little Cottonwood Canyon is closed until further notice. The helicopter that landed just right uh, behind me and took off, the pilot told Unified Police that there's approximately 35 cars that stranded in the canyon. With more information, I'd like to bring in Detective Ken Hansen with Unified Police Department. Detective, we haven't been able to see the mudslide from here. Can you tell us about the severity of the mudslide? Well, there's, there's multiple mudslides, and some of the mudslides are, have really large boulders in them, so there's actually great lengths of boulders that just came off the side of the mountain. And so we've got uh, equipment up there you know, starting to remove those boulders. That's going to take quite some time. Plus, there's road damage, and there's still water running from uh, across the roadway. The people that were in the 35 cars have been evacuated up the canyon, up to Snowbird and to Alta. So they're all they're okay. The cars are still there. I anticipate that this canyon probably won't open until later tomorrow morning because once we have daylight, we have to see how much road damage there is and, and, and what's, if there's been any impact on the road from, from the river coming up underneath it. So it'll, it'll be quite some time. So if people are going to go up the canyon, they want, may want to check before they try to do that. Uh, tell me what role UDOT is going to play in all of this in assisting you guys in cleaning up the mudslide. Well, this is a UDOT road or highway. And so it's their responsibility. They've responded very, very quickly to getting heavy equipment and all, and all of the equipment they need to clean the road off. It's just going to take some time and an, an assessment. We've asked the DPS helicopter, and they've just finished doing it, to do an assessment so we can count the cars, make sure everything's accounted for. We've, we've accounted for everybody so far, so we're good that way. Um, and then we just ha it's a matter of cleaning up the, all the different slides and all of the rock and mud. And then try and put this all back together again tomorrow. Perfect. So there's no injuries. No injuries so far. Um, that's one of the reasons why we called the helicopter to make sure we didn't have anything off the side of the road. Um, and right now everybody's accounted for, so we're in good shape. Perfect, Detective Hansen. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. And Glenn, you heard it there. Just a recap: no injuries up there. Approximately 35 cars evacuated. They've all taken shelter at Snowbird and Alta. We'll continue monitoring the situation, and we'll bring you the latest information on the air and online at abc4.com. Back to you.